Hello, in this brief tutorial I'm going to walk you through how to install Liquid Sky for your PC. You'll simply go to liquidsky.tv and log in using your login credentials and you'll go ahead and click login. Now, if you do not have beta access just yet, you will not see the option to uh, be able to download the uh, PC client. Um, if you're still pending, please be patient with us, but if you have access, uh, this will be your logged in uh, account status and you'll simply just go up here and click on downloads. Once on the download page you'll see the option to download Liquid Sky for your Android device and these are some of the devices we recommend to, to accompany your Android device. But for this tutorial I want to walk you through Windows and you'll see here that the min minimum requirements is Windows 7 or newer. Um, having a Wi-Fi connection or 4G connection with at least one megabyte download uh, speed uh, and at least one gigabyte of RAM to be able to run uh, Liquid Sky. Now go ahead and click on download and you'll see the download that begins down here in the bottom left and to start just go ahead and you can open it up in your folder or you can just go ahead and click the .exe file and um, you'll see this login screen. Now depending on if it's your first time there might be an update that needs to run so you might see an update um, but from here you just go ahead and use your same login cred credentials used on the website and click login. Upon logging in you will come to your Sky Computer dashboard. Now if this is your first time logging in uh, you will have a tour that will walk you through uh, the experience and uh, answer most of your questions but we'll skip that for now. And when you come to log in you'll see the amount of time you have remaining until your next credit is charged and the mm -hmm. amount of credits that you have left. And if you want to go to your account at any time, you simply click account to log into the website. Now for this tutorial, I want to walk you through creating a Windows desktop computer. So we're going to go ahead and click on Windows. And the first thing you'll be prompted to do is select a data center. Now this is important. You want to select the closest data center to you. Now we're based in New York, so we're going to go ahead and select Washington, D.C. I'm going to go ahead and hit select and then from here you want to select a performance package. This is basically your hardware that you're going to allocate to your Sky computer. Uh, high performance works for about a majority of games uh, and overall activity that you would perform on your Sky computer. But if you're going to be playing more intensive games or newer games or you want to max out your settings, then you probably want to choose the ultra performance package, which does cost two Sky credits per hour as opposed to the high performance package, which is one Sky credit per hour. So just for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and select the high performance package. Now you'll get a countdown as to how long it's estimated to create your desktop. We're going to go ahead and uh, skip this section and show you your desktop once it's ready. And we've officially created our Sky computer. Uh, you'll notice a message that pops up that's really important. Uh, this first one here, mouse mode toggle. If you experience any issues with the mouse, just hit the F12 button to, to toggle uh, back and forth. Uh, that happens between uh, different games, so we recommend uh, utilizing that feature. Okay, so now you are in your Sky computer. It is a full instance of Windows, and I'm going to go ahead and hit F11 to do full screen and it's now as if I have a full computer um, right here and I'm completely separated from my local device. Um, we do have some uh, quick download links if you want to download Steam or Chrome uh, or League of Legends. Uh, you just double click those and you'll be taken to the download page. But I do want to make you familiar with uh, the Liquid Sky menu. On the left hand side you'll be able to control the quality of your experience. So the higher you go the higher the experience in terms of quality. Um, so you will definitely want a better inter connect, internet connection for that. If you have a not so good internet connection, it's best to usually go to uh, a lower quality. Um, but usually our auto um, check mark here will do a pretty good job of giving you the best quality with your given um, performance. If you're on another device and you don't have F11 or F12 toggles, you can simply click F11 for full screen uh, or F12 for toggling back and forth the, uh, the mouse. And then if you need to access the administrative uh, part of your computer, uh, you simply just click here to generate the admin password. Uh, on the right hand side, you'll see your uh, storage balance as well as your credit balance that you can add to at any time by clicking the plus buttons. And the settings over here to set up your controller, 
your screen resolution, frames per second, as well as your timeout settings. Timeout settings will determine when your session is ended based on a certain amount of time uh, of you being idle. I usually set mine to 60 minutes, but you can set it to whatever you like. Um, and then as far as your system is concerned, this gives you your network score, so in terms of how your overall internet connectivity is, your hardware score in terms of the computer you're connected to, uh, from, and then the, the data center that you selected, the performance package that you've selected, as well as your decoding method, and uh, if you need to report a bug for any reason, you can do that here. Um, and that pretty much covers the uh, the Liquid Sky menu, and we recommend that anytime you want to end your session, you click on the Log Out button and hit End Session. That way, you won't be charged any credits or time uh, against you by clicking this End Session. It will shut down and completely restart your Sky computer, so any programs that you leave up will be uh, closed. But that ends this tutorial on how to use and set up your Sky computer on a PC. Thank you.